Hello and thanks for joining. My name is Kyle Lejeski, VP of America's Sales for our storage and converge platform business in the modern data center team. Now, when we really start to look at what is happening from an infrastructure standpoint, we really look at the HCI market, which gets a lot of buzz at roughly 8 billion, but the storage and therefore the storage in a three-tiered converged infrastructure at 26. The storage market is four times bigger than the HCI market. And in five years, it will still be twice the size. Focusing and executing on external storage is a key requirement for us going forward and for our customers. The beauty is we're a leader in both the hyper-converged, converged, and external storage market with a number one market leading share position. Back to that ESG study we opened with, the overwhelming metric was that 98% of transformed companies used converged or hyper-converged, and 86% used both. There is something in the water here for converged infrastructure and delivering outcomes that aren't capable in any other infrastructure deployment model. So first things first, what exactly is converged? Of course, it's taking server, network, and storage components, along with data protection and virtualization, and delivering them as three-tier architecture, but in a fully integrated system. And you don't have to look much farther to some of the analyst views on how it delivers efficiency, agility, and resiliency at scale. Some CIO comments that converged infrastructure are allowing them to modernize and simplify their infrastructure. 83% of the users have said that it made IT more agile. But what are we doing? Because there's a lot of imitators in this CI space. Almost everybody in the market is delivering a reference architecture or a blueprint of how to put piece parts together. That is not our converged infrastructure offering. We are delivering a truly engineered system. And in that engineered system, no one else in the market is delivering it in the way we are. There are five key pillars. First things first, we are engineering all of the elements in the system. So we create the standard, the best practice, and the configuration. We know exactly what goes in it and how those components interact and react to each other. We then manufacture it, both physically, racking, stacking, integrating, cabling, and also logically, doing the software configuration and build out. We manage it as a unified system. We support it from a single phone call so all the troubleshooting between server, network, storage, backup, and virtualization is consolidated into one phone call. 96% of our first calls are resolved at our integrated help desk. The remaining 4% naturally will be escalated and resolved in a different matter. But mean time to identification and mean time to resolution are exponentially approved. And then we sustain the environment with a pre-tested, pre-certified upgrade process we call the release compatibility matrix. And this patching process delivers better uptime and resiliency with a more predictable outcome. So a picture is worth a thousand words. And if we really look at how you would do this without converged infrastructure versus with converged infrastructure from Dell EMC. Without converged infrastructure, you're going to figure out the engineering elements of compute, network, storage, replication, backup, virtualization, and everything in between. And after you spend two or three months figuring out the right ratio of compute to network to storage capacity to LUN size, the replication strategy, you're then going to go build it all. You're going to get a couple hundred boxes, open up the boxes, put them in racks, do the stacking, integrating, cabling, <coughs> and all of that work to physically put it together. You're then going to logically configure it. BIOS and OSs, HBAs, IP and fiber networks, how many storage arrays and what type, what's my replication, RPO and RTO, and how do I build the backup framework? And then a few months more will go by. And then every one of these components is going to be managed separately. Uh, element manager for every piece. And every one of them is going to have a support contract that you'll have to manage and monitor and extend and update. And then, man, when something goes wrong, that's on you. How is my relationship between 
the Oracle database latency. Is it the fiber network? Is it the storage array? Is it that I've got noisy neighbors and I need to re-optimize? Is the port count wrong? Is the setting on the Q depth and the HBA incorrect? The list goes on. And then you're gonna go call up all these vendors in a mixed environment and everybody can point their fingers at everybody else to say it wasn't them. All in the while, your mean time to identification takes longer, your mean time to resolution takes longer, the amount of downtime and outages is increased, and back to where we started, all of that cycle time of spending time in the wrong places, this is how it gets to 70%. And then we're only left with 30% to innovate. Then, after you get all the stuff stood up and it's running, you gotta own all the patching. And as soon as you patch compute, how does that affect storage? And when you patch the switch, how does that affect the underlying hypervisor? All of this patch management is owned by you, scheduled by you, and delivered by you. This takes months to deploy, and then this is a very inefficient day two operating model going forward. It takes a lot of human capital. And at the end of the day, nobody has time for this. So if the array-based market is four times the size, and the array-based market is still where I deliver all of those mission-critical data services, there's got to be a better way to deploy storage arrays and traditional three-tier architecture than what we did on the left. And our answer is pretty straightforward. Why deliver on the left when you can deliver an experience like we have on the right? Our VX block technology is completely engineered. We do all that best practice configurations. And man, we do it at a scale of thousands a year. We then do the manufacturing, both the physical and logical. From the date of the PO to the data system shows up on your floor, production ready is 45 days. You support it with one phone call. We patch it with one RCM process. We manage it from a single pane of glass. We deliver this in a month versus multiple quarters and with a fraction of the headcount. So when you can deliver on the right, why continue to deliver like you do on the left? Don't take my word for it. There's a host of organizations that cite some key returns. Uh, sure, they've reduced implementation costs by 32% at Mohawk Industries. Another one at Palmer College was my staff has become fully future focused. That's that 70-30 situation. We're now 100% responsive to the business at Fox Sports. They're not spending time in some of the wrong places. At University of San Diego, they purchased a pre-integrated system to reduce implementation costs by 50%. Check out First National Bank, a 30% annual cost savings in power, cooling, and real estate. And the list goes on of benefits. In fact, there's a great white paper that benchmarks all of these customer outcomes. On average, across hundreds of converged customers, we've lowered operating costs by 61%. We're delivering more efficient IT operations. 52% less time keeping the lights on. That's inverting that pyramid of IT transformation. They're delivering apps faster. Check out the downtime metric, 99% less downtime. Because of the RCM, because of owning the patching in an engineered system, because of being able to identify the problem and resolve it more quickly, there are huge impacts to downtime. And naturally, a massive ROI, 640% uh, was the average five-year ROI of moving to converged. So very tactically, we take best of breed components, EMC storage, Cisco compute and network, along with VMware, virtualization, and some data protection and management components. We then take these best of breed components and we own the engineering and the manufacturing, both the physical, how do the pieces come together, and the logical, how do we map it to your IP addresses, your naming schema, and your environment. So from PO to system ready, we take all of the guesswork out of the engineering and manufacturing. We then manage it, support it, and sustain it. A single pane of glass, one phone call, and one upgrade process. The beauty here is I've got a system level operation view, but I haven't lost any of my flexibility to get into the components and do component level administration. And when you really think about, this becomes a game changing software defined converged infrastructure experience where I've got full insight to the inventory, the health, and the patching or the release compatibility at the lowest 
common denominator. I then build workflows and templates to automate and orchestrate. I can show key KPIs and dashboards on the health of the system. I can then get up to the highest level where I ultimately create self-service portals and costing dashboards that then can easily plug in to third-party tools, maybe ServiceNow or maybe part of that multi-cloud decision-making process in an organization. But ultimately, you're spending time on those outcome-based decisions and not on all of the elements in the box. Every piece of moment, every cycle time you spend trying to figure out the stuff that has already been engineered is time you can't spend elsewhere. And this life cycle assurance is huge. This ultimately is what keeps the infrastructure current, stable, and optimized. We benchmarked that we can deliver patching six times faster than do it yourself. And the real deliverable here is just less risk from outages every time an upgrade occurs. A real customer example here who started with a do-it-yourself infrastructure and modernized to a VX Block 1000. Without any of the additional benefits, straight up hard cost savings of roughly two and a half million. And again, a more make money metric of six and a half million nearly on revenue and productivity avoidance. And then some cost avoidance for IT operations and innovation. The total net benefit here was roughly eight and a half million dollars with nearly a 500% five year ROI. The key thing there is a 14 month payback. Modernizing with converged infrastructure from Dell EMC with our unique engineered, manufactured, managed, supported, sustained strategy is the key deliverer on how we take storage arrays and three-tier architecture for mission-critical workloads and deliver them better than anybody else. Hopefully that was helpful. Good luck and good selling.